times in the boxer's life occurred not long ago. Preceding the 2019 loss to Jordanis Ugas, Figueroa had been arrested for driving under the influence just the year before. I was out with a friend and, you know, she didn't really drink much and we were having drinks pretty much the same one-to-one. -one. She had to work the next day, so it wasn't like we overdid it or anything. I just remember dropping her off at home and next thing I know, I'm in jail and I'm supposed, supposed like, all this crazy stuff happened and I'm like, wait, what, I don't remember any of that. It has just been unfortunate. I, I've just been caught in, in, in wrong situations and uh, that's just it. I don't know, you know, there's no, there's no excusing what I've done, but, you know, I've, I've learned from that and it, it hasn't happened since. Figueroa has not consumed alcohol in years now and the fighter has noticed a corresponding improvement in his performance as well as his outlook. The main thing is uh, honestly just not feeling like crap the next day. You wake up and you're good. You know, you just, that's what, what really blows my mind. You don't feel bad, you don't feel bloated that same night. Like, every, like life is just better without it, honestly. I don't care what the world thinks because at the end of the day, the world's gonna think whatever it wants to think. You know, it's gonna pick up whatever signs or whatever part of me it wants to pick up and it's going to make whatever assumptions it wants and it's going to create its own reality. And so for me, it's just focusing on myself and making sure that at the end of the day that the person, you know, the thoughts that I have while I'm in bed trying to get some rest, that I'm fine with them. And I'm finally at a point where I feel like I am at peace with, with all of myself, not just the good parts of me, but all of me.